All right, we got an iPad today. First of all, let me introduce these are our friends come from Oman. Uh, they come for training here. So uh, very serious they are. All the way down from Oman. Ahmed is there. <laughs> Ahmed, Yusuf and... No identity? Ibrahim. <laughs> okay, Thank you. so uh, yeah, what we're doing today, we are doing uh, uh, iPad Air second generation. We'll learn how to take off the glass without breaking a uh, screen. And the second, we will do a motherboard uh, micro soldering on that. Like, there's a famous problem with that the charging port, they they break, and uh, we usually got problem with that. So uh, we need to understand uh, what's the best way. Right? In simple word is what's the best way to do the job, and uh, is it really worth it to do or not? Okay. So yes, iPad. We have a new machine here. Uh, I don't know. It's called CPB, it's a hot pad. I was using a heat plate before. I was using, uh, that's, that's pretty good, but I hear about this tool, so I'm just gonna try today. Uh, simply press the button, hold it, and it will switch on the temperature. What we have here, we have, we press the M button here. That's giving us a temperature control. So let me just set it on, this is 100. So I'm gonna set it on to, let's say, 75 to 80. Let's have a set temperature for 75. So we can set it on 75. That's the timer, how long you wanna keep it on. Doesn't matter, you can switch it on when you finish the job. Oh, it's actually heating. Wow, that's quick. It's a 57, it's a quick heater, right? That's a good thing. First of all, guys, for health and safety, uh, especially when you're doing an iPad, you want to make sure you wear gloves and uh, your glasses, if they're available, uh, kind of uh, safety glasses, because what usually happens in an iPad, when you're pulling hard this glass, okay, try to pull it out, if they're shattered, the, the small pieces can get in your eyes, so you don't want to get in that trouble. Uh, and uh, always switch off your device before you start working on that. So I just switch it off. The next thing what you need to know that uh, uh, the device by mistake if it's switch on try again to make sure because in this one is a usual uh, uh, problem on this one we got a lot of uh, devices come from other shopkeepers and repair centers what they do they uh, uh, they open the device and start taking up the cables are putting on that without disconnecting the battery because in most of these devices, the battery is in the bottom and motherboard is sitting on top of it. So if the battery power is actually linked to motherboard, what will happen? The power will be always in circuits. And when you're playing around with the connectors, if you can't put them properly or if you're pushing them hard or just playing around with them, that can actually create a short circuit. And in these ones, a common problem is called backlight coil. After finishing job, you will realize that there is no screen or you will see no light on that. So for, to avoid this situation, you will always wanna do one thing, open the device, disconnect the battery, keep the on-off button for a few seconds, let it drain the power out from the motherboard, and after that, you can start working on these things, okay? All right, let's start it first. We're gonna put it this side around. It's quite hot now. Let it heat properly. This, these devices can take quite quite a heat. Um, they have a, uh, well, quite low heat resistance so if you um, to, to 80 for a few minutes you'll feel the heat let it heat it properly because if you don't heat it properly there's chances that if you're pulling it out the job get harder if the device been open before the things are easier but if it have never been open then it's harder so uh, the it's better let it heat properly okay and then change the side and keep it on low temperature for keep heating it until you finish the job okay and that way you don't have to as most of people do with the heat gun Right, this machine is not too expensive. It's 70, 60 to 70 pound in UK. Uh, I bought it from eBay. So uh, let's see how good it is. But uh, uh, the machine, if it's uh, on uh, 50 temperature. Okay, so the temperature in a beginning, you're gonna keep the temperature. You press the on off button, right? The temperature in a beginning is set it to 75. It's got automatic temperature control and the time control. So if you keep pressing this M button on this machine, that will give you option to change the temperature. All right. So let's try again. Switch on. 
and button 60 okay I got 75 set timer don't need to worry because we will switch off after finishing the job now we put it like that for a few minutes okay when it's hot enough it takes some time but this one is hot already because we was working on that then you take it off and turn the side change the temperature to 30 yeah 30 and keep working on that so safety again guys wear the glasses because when you why will you try i don't know how good this one are i think it's just from bnq uh, but if you uh, if you don't wear it there's a chance it's just gonna shatter and get into the eyes so let's work on that i'm gonna wear it and you need to watch a video and understand that what side is the connectors before you start it things what you need you need a spudger okay you can do guitar picks i got one this thing from union repair it's very sh sharp kind of um, metal i can say piece and then i have a screwdriver kit one tweezer and some cases you can use the blade but the thing is harder so we're gonna put a suction on that suction don't work if the screen is shattered you need to understand uh, uh, if the screen is shattered it will not work so what you need to do you need to put a white clear tape on that it's always better if you put it anyways white clear tape to keep it uh, uh, keep it covered all together so if the glass is broken this pieces will stay in the tape and you don't have to uh, worry about spreading around on your table so yes we have a connector here an iPad 8 second generation we'll put a, put a suction cup hold it tight try to pull up the corner when the corner is pulling out we gonna get the blade inside it all right let's cut it a little bit actually start coming itself out which is a good thing because of a heat is already down there okay what side come out just put a pick there leave it there and now with the such with the plastic tool or spudger keep doing like that twist the, the spudger carry on doing it while suction cup is holding and pulling out don't want to leave this leave the screen down because if you leave the screen down and, and the spudger is in there there is chances it will break it so same on the other side. Voila! This device has been opened before and we got a lot of fingerprints in there which can tell you that there have been some jobs done on that. I don't need a heat pad. I'm going to remove it from here and start working on that. We got this, uh, uh, you can say, a screw management pad where you got a lot of screw holes and the numbers are there in the beginning is very important you should get this kind of thing or something similar to that why because what usually happen that if these these small screws they are different all of most of them they're different from each other most of the apple series so you need to manage them and remember them because if you don't remember them after that when you put it back opening is always easy closing is harder so things are got uh, messy and uh, you might don't feel good or get panic or uh, you might do a mistakes all right we got here i'm gonna put this one like that on the pad and work further i have this toolkit this is from uh, uh Verha. it's quite a famous company they're making kind of you know that uh, tools which is you know kind of branded type of tool to help you to do job and this is how to take it off so oh, my hands are sweaty all right which one we need it we need a fillet double zero what you got yes close back any questions? Are we not asking any question no. because no. we're in the video? <laughs> no? no? Everything is clear. Everything is clear and today. If you have any questions, ask please. And try to understand are you going to do these repairs and need to know. Uh, the gloves are always pain. Actually, it's pain, isn't it? <laughs> the rubber one, leave that one is enough. But 
All right, so we got the screwdriver here. This is the plate. You have a three uh, three screw top here. It's a Philip double zero. I'm using it on that. Take it off. Put on place number one, two, and three. What? I need to fix this. So the plate will come out. After that, you have two connection. Take before you take off the connection, as I mentioned it to you earlier. This is very important. You need to take it off the battery, or if you can see that the battery is on a bottom and motherboard is sitting on top of that. The reason is that because the battery is bigger and they make it in the design is sim, they make it which is more suitable for this these devices. And in that way, we usually do a mistake, right? We just start disconnecting battery or we just start working on that. What you need to do, you need to take some kind of plastic unit, put it underneath there, make it separate and take some kind of another plastic, which can actually make a space between motherboard and don't do it too harsh and don't put a very, uh, let's say thick uh, thing, which can, can bend the board and you'll have a problem. And now you can press the on off button for a few seconds. That will drain some battery from the device. And basically disconnect the connectors. One, two, because the touch and screen together in this one, and there are three connectors together. So voila, that's your screen. When you get a new screen, they come out like that. There will be some fingerprint issues on the new devices. I hear about that. So you might need to change the fingerprint, this home button, uh, take it out from the, uh, from the original uh, device, original screen and put it onto the new one, rather than uh, using a new one which come with that. So it's always better because they have a biometrics and they give a problem, they don't work after that. Right, we have, what else? Okay, so if you guys wanna see, you have to come nearby. Okay, so there are screws, a lot of screws, okay. We need to learn on this one the charging port because the charging port is actually attached to the motherboard here and um, this is a soldered unit. So if you need to work on that, you do need to make sure that you, you don't pull it out without thinking that it might be a connection or something because this unit is fully attached with the motherboard with the soldering. And I seen a lot of uh, uh, time uh, these jobs come to us and we see usually people don't realize that and they try to pull it out and break it into see if you carefully look there is the connections here and they're all soldered on the board and then you have these are two speaker adhesives they're connected onto the charging port and you can take them off simply like that right then you have uh, one two three four five five and six screws these two screws are four screws actually for speaker adhesive and the rest of them for the charging port start with these ones number them you can always remember right next we're gonna take off rest of the screw this is your on off button and volume key uh, holder so there is a screw there I like to design in my mind because they usually we can figure it right then you have a small shield on that okay over nearby there and there is a connection so you can disconnect it try to use the plastic spudgers for these connections don't use uh, metal pieces as I was doing. And these are two antenna cables for the signals. Right, there's the rest of the screws on this plate. Okay, they're most probably different from all each other. Only uh, I seen a lot of videos on uh, 
let's say on uh, YouTube or other channels the only thing they don't show you uh, in these videos are that uh, online when you watch these video they don't show you exact jobs there's a pre done jobs and things a lot more easier when you work on these devices and actually then you realize oh that's not like that or i don't know how to do that that guy is good who was doing it it's not it's not the case case is that they already done these jobs and they know what exactly they're doing it so it's better uh, whenever you want to start working on clients phones or something if you got some uh, broken devices you can buy from ebay or amazon and do a practice on them before doing actual device yeah rather than actually just open a new device and break into the pieces and then there'll be an issue so these are connections here you have a back camera connection uh, you have proximity sensor connection here what they're doing is some kind of sensor it's no proxy some other type of sensors here uh, then you have a front camera okay and this is a connection for your antennas and headphone jack so there are a few connections here you need to disconnect properly and there will be a tapes on top of them which is holding them together all right for the motherboard motherboard is still here we don't need to go too much further we just will disconnect whatever we can see here until motherboard and that's it yeah we're fine i'm gonna try to take care of the board yeah because we don't have any screws and the whole thing is coming out fairly easily you don't have to work too hard there you go that's your motherboard okay that's your battery what battery is 3.7 volt right oh, massive battery yeah model a1547 leon and 7340 megahertz which is quite a big battery you can hold it for long right next thing we want to see is this unit to how to do the job for that you need some tools the tools you require for this is you need a hardware workstation you need a soldering iron and you need um, uh, soldering wire flex paste some of the tools i have here take it you need a flex paste you need a desoldering wire and a tip cleaning paste and a nice tweezer anti-heat tape you got these old tools We've, uh, we can manage to do this job uh, so uh, I will make another video on this one I'm not gonna start it now it's a long video for what we done already uh, we'll put it back this one and we're gonna start working on next video for a motherboard repair so I have to set set up stuff here for you and I can show you later for, for, for that time uh, wait next video we'll get everything on that and bye bye for now